Welcome to my channel and before we start please click subscribe or you can also donate to support us I have just tried opening Windows 10 32 bit virtual box on my new laptop but I'm getting this error while starting to boot the operating system several users are getting the VTX or AMD V hardware acceleration is not available on your system error when trying to install or launch a virtual machine in Oracle VM virtual box method 1 verifying if your CPU support virtualization how to verify if your CPU support virtualization automatically one of the easiest way to find out if your computer support virtualization is to use a tool called Securable. This tool will analyze whether your CPU support virtualization or not. If your computer is equipped to support hardware virtualization, you will see a green yes hardware virtualization. If your virtual box is running on a box with an Intel CPU, download and install the CPU Z tool. Ensure that VTX is listed in the instruction pen. If not, you may need to change BIOS setting. Method 2 Disabling Hyper-P. Hyper-P formerly now as Windows Server Virtualization is Microsoft Virtualization Technology Hyper-P is perfectly capable of creating virtual machine on 32-bit and 64 system running Windows but it's not used by virtual box or VMware for stability reason. Try to disable Hyper-P to resolve the VTX or AMD V hardware acceleration is not available on your system error. There are multiple methods that you can follow to disable Hyper-P and allow VTX or AMD V to take over. Feel free to follow whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Disabling Hyper-P via command from The easiest way to disable Hyper-P is by typing a command inside command from. Here is what you need to do. In the command from, type and pass the following command and press enter to disable the Hyper-P function. Disabling Hyper-P via GUI Another method to disable the Hyper-P technology is to use the control panel interface. This method is slower, but should be prepared if you are not comfortable with running command via the terminal. From the Windows Features menu, expand the Hyper-P folder and make sure to uncheck Hyper-P management tools and Hyper-P flat form before clicking OK. Restart your computer and see if the error has been resolved at the next startup. 
if you are still encountering the VTX or AMD hardware acceleration is not available on your system, move to the next method to ensuring that VIE or NX is enabled from VirtualBox Manager. Method 3. Enable VIE or NX from VirtualBox Manager. Several users have reported that the issue was resolved after they enable VIE or NX from the virtual device settings menu. Select the machine that is showing the error message, then click OK the settings icon. In the settings windows of the virtual machine, go to the system section and access the processor tab, then make sure PIA or NX check box is checked to enable it. If you are still seeing the VTX is disabled in the BIOS for all CPU modes, move to the next method. Method 4 Enabling Virtualization within BIOS or UAVI. If you have an Intel CPU and and installing Hyper-P didn't solve your problem or your virtualization app reported that Intel VTX was disabled, you will need to access your computer BIOS on UAV settings. Another reason why you might get the VTX or AMD hardware acceleration is not available on your system error is due to virtualization being disabled from your BIOS settings. When you manage to find the option, make sure you enable it. The settings you will find inside your BIOS or UAV will be different depending on your motherboard and CPU manufacturer. If you cannot find the option yourself, search online for the specific steps on enabling hardware virtualization on your configuration. Once you manage to enable virtualization, set the chains and shut down your computer. Modern CPU includes hardware virtualization features that help accelerate virtual machine created in VirtualBox, VMware, Hyper-P, and other apps, but those features aren't always enabled by default. At the next part of the VTX or AMD V hardware acceleration is not available on your system error, solve no longer occur when you try to install or run a virtual machine.
that is for methods how to solve VTX or MDV hardware acceleration is not available on your system. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching and please click subscribe or you can also donate to support us.